Hey everyone, and welcome to a new series and game on the channel with me, NG Paradox. We're here with Total War Free Kingdoms, and I'm excited. I've played one campaign of this game so far by myself, and I ex really, really enjoyed it. I somewhat completed it, but I really enjoyed it up to the point that I've got to. Played like 20 hours in that one campaign, so that was a, that's been a lot of fun so far, but I can't wait to play more with you guys there to join me on our journey. Last time I asked you guys to vote on who you'd like me to play as because I could not decide which person I wanted to play as. I love all of the characters in this game. And Liu Bei came out on top by one single vote. Second place just went to Cao Cao. It seemed like it was going to be one of these two from the very beginning. They both were very close, drawing for ages. But Liu Bei came out on top in the end. Third and fourth place were a bit more interesting. Um, third actually went to Ma Tang, which is kind of cool to see. I didn't expect him to come third. I thought maybe uh, Sun Jian might actually come third. But in the end, he didn't actually get that many votes. Maybe people have seen too much of him recently from other people on YouTube. I don't know. But he didn't get that many votes. And Ma Tang actually got quite a lot. Came very close to catching up to Cao Cao and Liu Bei. And fourth was Zhang Yan, who didn't really surprise me too much because obviously he's Yu Du in his party, and I know you guys have been on my channel for a while know all about Yu Du. So that was kind of cool to see that. I will keep that in mind in the future when I start other series. That's obviously going to give those guys a more likely chance of popping up, I expect, if you guys do enjoy this game, of course, and do want to see more. But of course, the winner was. Liu Bei, and so we will start a campaign as him. He starts off as a, a virtuous idealist. Uh, he's a commander, of course. He gets plus four public order, minus 50% upkeep for militia infantry. So that means you could probably build up quite a big army very quickly just with militia, and the public order should hopefully mean you don't have to really handle too much of dealing with your cities and stuff. That should help out quite a lot at the beginning of the game. We have the specialization of unity, increases our prestige, which should allow us to get up the ranks a bit quicker, um, unlocks administrator positions and increases income, that should be good and might make you not too worry uh, too much about money, unlock, you know, unity increases if generals are satisfied, so we should make sure our generals are satisfied and that will go up, satisfaction can be managed with unique assignments, so overall I think Liu Bei sounds quite not easy, but he's got a lot of benefits that make you maybe not worry too much about a lot of things, you know. Plus public order, you save when it comes to your military, you can build them up quite quickly, but they'll obviously not be very good armies. But it can allow you to build up an army very quickly to defend yourself from the common people, maybe. Um, and also, increasing prestige would be really nice from this, and just keeping your general satisfied will do that. It doesn't seem too hard to me. We'll get these Yi archers and the Yi marksmen. We'll also get a Shu Han tax collection. Now, it'll decrease public order because more peasantry income. But with his plus public order, hopefully maybe that balances out, I guess, in that way. We can confederate with people and we can integrate Han cities. That sounds like a really powerful ability. Uh, we'll see how it does for us in the campaign. Guan Yu and Zhang Fei will, of course, be by my side. My two brothers. Uh, well, not blood brothers, but from the Peach Garden will be by my side. And let's... Unite Embers China. Rise, stark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns. Chaos ignites as the power of the eunuchs is crushed. In the pyre, the hand falters. Yet the light of the dynasty still simmers in the hearts of its last descendants. Liu Bei swore an oath with his brothers. They pledged their lives. They will defend the Han. Nobody else can. So as the game loads up, I'm going to go over a few ground rules and what settings we have, etc. We're going to be playing on romance mode, seeing as my own campaign I played in records mode. So I kind of want to try it out for myself, and I think it would be a lot of fun to see the jewels and stuff. Especially if we're playing as Liu Bei, it could be great to see Guan Yu and Zhang Fei fight it out against other generals. That sounds like a lot of fun. I've got all my graphic settings on medium, because sadly my computer's not very good anymore, so it's a bit old these days. So 
all my settings on medium, I have ultra unit sizes, not epic, because um, if I do that, the frames crash when I record. I can do it when I'm not recording, but when I'm recording, I can't use them. So that's the settings in those regards. You will see me edit out some loading times when it comes to the battles, because, again, my computer's not very good at the moment, so I will be editing out the load times if those are a big problem when it comes before the battles. They take too long, maybe. Um, unless there's something I need to talk about between those scenes of loading times. Also, if you're new to my channel, I love to immerse myself into my game, so I will be making decisions based upon what I think our character will do. So playing as Liu Bei, so I'm going to do what I think he will do, and of course based upon the relationships and how things go with our friends and people we meet, so that will have a big effect on what we do. But, it's done, and let's jump right in. Luo Yang lies in ruin, my lord. Dong Zai, Tan Bao Sheng Ling, Bai Xing, Qi De An Sheng. Dong Zhuo has fled west to Chang'an, with the young Emperor Xian his captive. Bei Wu Li Jiu Bi Xia Yu Xian Zhong. The coalition delays and wastes time. You are poised, ready to strike now. Your sworn brothers are ready to fight. Their oaths were bound long ago. Dong Zhuo's treason must face justice. We are arrows on the wind, my lord. We fly wherever you command. And so our journey to end the chaos in China and save the people will begin. You will notice I do have the advisor on English, but I have uh, my commanders and stuff speaking Chinese. I like it that way. Having everyone speak Chinese kind of makes it feel a bit more authentic, but the advisor normally is speaking directly to you, so I kind of have a speaking English. But that, that's just my thing. You can change it however you want, which is a real, real nice feature to make things how you'd like. Um, establish your power. Now, the settings actually for color should be based upon records mode, I think, but I may have undone that. I can't remember. But Lord Liu Bei, Dong Zhuo, has seized the emperor and now wields imperial power to his own tyrannical ends. The Han Dynasty must be saved, even if you must take their lands back by force. First, we must defeat the nearby Yellow Turban insurgents, then find a place to build our strength. Nearby Tao Chuan and Kong Rong are Han loyalists who may offer us aid. The time to act, my lord, is now. Liu Bei and his brothers face the Yellow Turban Scourge, so we must defeat the Yellow Turbans here, of course, and we shall. We must defeat these Yellow Turbans and bring unity back to the land. Now, one of the real good and unique things about Liu Bei is that he actually starts off without any land, so you could kind of do what you want. If you want to, you could go north and go join up with his old friend, uh, Gong Shen Zan. You can maybe go down south and find these peaceful lands down at the bottom that have not been claimed by anyone. Or maybe you could just go east and go to where Shu Han would properly be in the actual Three Kingdoms later on in the story. Or maybe even go and try and save the boy emperor right now with what you've got. I would probably not advise that last one. But you can kind of do what you want. That's kind of a nice little thing. We're going to keep things simple though. We need a base of operations. If we want to save China and end the chaos and save the people. That's what we care about. We need to get a base we can start from. Let's see what we've got here. We've got an Adept, a Black Thoroughbred, and a Forge Master. Okay, none of that's that important. Let's see what we've got here. Then we've got Liu Bei. Ah, he's kind, humble, and fraternal. I did say we're going to try and immerse ourselves and play as our character, so he is going to be what we base our decisions on. We did have a new horse that increases cunning. Now, Cunning's not really that useful for our three characters right now, but he does increase the chance of evading post-battle and a charge bonus. Um, none of the others really do that. So I'm actually I'm gonna give this horse to uh, Liu Bei, just because even though he doesn't need the cunning, you know, cunning's always useful, always cunning give, you know. Ammunition, he's got one bow person. We could get him a few more bow people in the future then, and supplies as well. So that's fine, it's not a big deal. 
Uh, do we have anything else? Followers. We have a few followers here. This one gives expertise and instinct. So we could give him to Zhang Fei. He's good when it comes to instinct. This guy also gives a cunning. Only if this character is prime minister, heir, or faction leader, we get trade influence. That could be useful for Liu Bei. And this guy also gives is a good person with instinct as well. Enables formation shield wall and shield wall mobile infantry formation. Now, that'd be kind of good, I guess, with someone maybe who is a sentinel, not actually Zhang Fei. I'm actually going to give him, I think, this guy gives 50% income from industry. And we are near a mine. But I think giving him two cunning things could be actually kind of interesting. Let's give him that. That will help our trade as well then. Okay, that's good. And then we'll give it Zhang Fei. We shall give him, I think, this one. A shield wall. Uh, does that only his own army? I'm guessing it's the uh, the whole army will get that. Mobile infantry formation. Yeah, I'm going to give him that because he gives him instinct as well. Okay, and Guan Yu. I guess we could give him the Forge Master, though. The instinct and expertise. I guess he's good at instinct. That could help him out a bit. So let's give him that anyway. We'll give him that. We need to give him something. Let's give him something. Who else is in our court, in fact? So we start with just these two, and we have Jian Yong. He's the only other man that is with us. He's a sentinel, so actually those ones that add to his resolve could be quite useful. For now, though, he'll stay in the court. We have our two brothers by our side. That's all we need for now. Uh, we start off, obviously, as a noble. We want to get to the second marquee and get all the way to king and become emperor. To, to save the Han Dynasty, of course. Not, not because... Uh, Liu, Liu Bei wants to be emperor himself, of course. Unless, uh, you know, I'm going to be playing him based upon Romans of the Three Kingdoms, guys, not on actual history. I know there's a lot of people in actual history that think of him more as a sort of con man, in a way. But we'll leave that for another time. Okay, but now we've got an idea of what our place looks like. Let's jump right in to a battle. And we're actually going to play this battle just because I don't know if we're going to be able to see another battle in the future. So I think we should probably jump in. It'll be an easy battle, most likely. But I think we should jump in because I don't know if we're going to get one in the rest of this first part. Usually I'm quite careful a lot of the time. Uh, most of the time. So we might not have any battles necessarily in this first part. Because this first part is going to be all about us trying to build up our own little base here. And see if we can actually get ourselves a good foot in to the campaigns and trials that lie ahead of us. Dong Zhuo, the tyrant must fall. The Han Emperor must be saved. And our first step to bring peace to the people of China begins with this first small step against the yellow turbans. And here we are. Okay, we seem to be in an interesting region. Let's have a quick look at our heroes that we're going to start with. Our campaign will start with three very legendary heroes. Liu Bei, the man himself, the myth, the legend, the, the humble, the lovely. He thinks only of the people, not even of his... He'll throw his baby to the floor for his own men, etc. So there was two twin swords right there. Of course, further up, we have Zhang Fei and Guan Yu. Zhang Fei, known for his, shall we say, rage and his drinking. Um, maybe not the most nicest of people. You don't want to be on his bad side, but if he's on your side... Well, even if he's on your side, actually, if you're one of his men, it could be quite bad. He was known for flogging certain people at some point, so it always came back to bite him in the butt. Uh, his anger and drinking always came back to get him. And then we have the God of War himself, Guan Yu. Both good brothers. Even though all three of them were not born on the same day, maybe they will die, hopefully, on the same day. That's what we want. And Zhang, Zhao Bo is our enemy. Now, I would like to just duel him. Now, we haven't got the range. He has to come closer to us. Maybe we can duel him. I'd like to duel him because he's only he's the only leader here. Our forces completely overpower him. This should not be a difficult fight. So, if I can just duel him, maybe. Maybe if he loses, he'll just retreat. It's very much like in the Romans of the Three Kingdoms book. Uh, generals, you know, generally would maybe fight each other. And if one general killed the other general very early on in the duel... His men would kind of run. Because remember, these people are just... Most of them are normal people. You know, just normal militia and men. You know, if their leader... They see their leader get cut down. Most of them are going to run away. And he's challenged Guan Yu. I was going to have Zhang Fei, but Guan Yu is the champion. So here we go. 
the duel begins. Why would you challenge Guan Yu? Actually, this actually reminds me of Romance of the Figums quite well. It starts off with, like, Liu Bei and his two brothers taking on the Yellow Turbans, and, you know, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei remember correctly actually dueling many of the Yellow Turban leaders and cutting them down very early on. But here we go. Do you have an ability, Guan Yu? Binding Fury Splash Damage. Uh, let's just try it anyway. Don't really need Splash Damage, but our archers are taking down the Yellow Turbans men as they come in. He is getting absolutely destroyed by Guan Yu. I'm not even gonna I'm gonna let these guys just fight it out, because once their leader goes, there's no way they're gonna survive. He's the only leader they have. They're kind of all stepping around watching. We're gonna see the final blow. Come on, Guan Yu. Let's see it. Oh! And there we go. Guan Yu is victorious. They haven't got to our men just yet. Guan Yu. Guan Yu is already in with their archers, and you can see that. Look at them run. Look, they saw their own leader get cut down by Guan Yu with ease, in fact. And the sight of Zhang Fei has sent them running. Told you the first battle might be quite easy. Um, I will tell you, battles in the rest of the game will not be like that. The first battle is always easy, and because we were able to cut down their leader in the duel, they gave up very quickly. His men just turned and ran as soon as their leader got cut down. Very much like in the books, actually, which is kind of nice. That's kind of pleasing to see that can actually happen in the game. Very much like how it happens in the books sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Though I will say, uh, when I played previously, most of the time the enemy leaders would not accept a duel. Uh, then he challenged me. I think that's because it's the first battle. I hardly ever have the AI challenge me. And normally when I try and challenge them, they will not accept. If they think they're going to lose a duel, most of the time the AI is smart enough to know not to accept. It depends on the situation, I guess. But in this one, I guess maybe the leader knew that his only chance of survival was if he could cut down our generals. Because we got three legendary heroes here. They, they destroy his soldiers, they would. So... I guess maybe that's why the AI did it, I don't know, but the first step is done. How much money? A bit of money coming in, we need that money right now. Uh, ransom release, seize the supplies, or... We didn't lose any men, basically, so I don't think... Yeah, we lost, we lost one man. We don't need to recruit any. Military supplies are fine, let's get that unity up then. Perfect. Bring peace. Liu Bei marches to claim Lower Turban lands. We want to get that iron mine. We need a base of operations to start from. Again, the iron mine can bring us money in. We could then bring in some more recruits and stuff. It makes the most sense to go attack that. But obviously, you don't have to do it. It's obviously a sandbox game, but it just just makes sense for us right now. We'll just delegate. We'll just delegate this. This will be an easy battle. And there we go, 100 men were lost. You, you might want to play most of your battles just because you can try and lose less men. But in that sort of battle, it's not necessary. But I will say this, you know, losing men because it takes a long time for them to replenish, actually, in the game. It is worth it a lot of the time to actually play a lot of your battles. If you try and uh, auto-resolve a lot of them, you're going to lose more men than maybe you would have. Especially with your hero's health and stuff, they might die more than you expected. With this settlement's liberation, the people here are freed from oppression. It is a small start, but it's significant all of China must know this same freedom. Don't worry, Liu Bei. We'll free them. We'll free them from the shackles of chaos. With a rallying cry, Liu Bei draws more to his cause. It is time. War looms like a pregnant, a pregnant storm cloud? Very interesting metaphor, that one. And the rain must soon fall. Forces must be gathered. Send out the muster and call and grow your armies. Only when the people have answered your cry can you march to war with the voice of China at your back. So we need to get more soldiers in. That's what I was planning to do anyway. Faction developments. Oh, perfect. So now that we have a base of operations, we could probably look to plan our campaign and look for allies. Now, we have the Yellow Turbans to the north of us. Let's have a look at the diplomacy and see how things are. We're at war with the Yellow Turban Rebellion over here. We are at war with the Han Empire, who are currently vassals underneath the evil tyrant Dong Zhuo. He has them in his grasp, and the boy emperor. We'll have to save them. We'll liberate them at any cost. Uh, Huang Shao up north from this is also part of the Yellow Turbans, but they're more of a sort of an organized group of Yellow Turbans, we'll say, 
underneath his authority. And we've also at war, of course, with the tyrant himself. Now, the coalition has fallen apart. So we have no longer the coalition. They failed in defeating Dong Zhuo and saving the emperor. But Yuan Shao, of course, is still up north. He could still be a useful man. He still wants to defeat the tyrant just like we do. We have Tao Chuan south of us. He's a good man, a Han loyalist. And we have Kong Rong somewhere up here. Those should be good men that we look to try and bring to our cause. Let's see if we can get anything from him. Trade territory, trade agreement. Okay, let's get a trade agreement going. He likes that. Non-aggression pact. Very nice. Okay, we're going to bring him to our side, of course. He's a good man. And we want to get close to good people. But um, he really likes that. I should get something from We could probably get food. I only have zero food right now, so probably getting some food of him could be... Then again, we should probably look at his an ancillaries. So, does he have anything here you could trade for? There's a couple of things here. We've got a guy who gives instinct and one that gives authority. That might be a bit more useful for us right now, but um, authority and satisfaction. I don't think necessarily we need those. I, I don't feel like I really, really want those. So, getting a couple of food and I think would be fine. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Unify? No, he definitely doesn't want to unify. And I lost all of that because I clicked on unify. Great. Okay, we've learned not to click on Unify in the future, unless at the beginning. There we go. We'll just go for that. We want him to like us, so if we give him a good deal there, hopefully he'll like me a bit more. Um, we also have Wang Lang down here. Don't know much about him at the moment. We we haven't met him. Apparently, we can't talk to him. Um, he's another one of the warlords. You know, he could be useful as well to fight against these enemies. So with that down there, and we've got a trade agreement going down south. We've got money coming in. We could probably start to build up a bigger army. But only with 300 gold, I probably need a bit more gold. Uh, heading north would make a lot of sense. We need to destroy those yellow turbans, but they could be quite strong. Uh, taking this could be good. Getting Dong to unite this land of Dong would be nice. Then again, though, there is this city over here of the Han Empire. And we do have our ability to take these. It costs 50 unity to just get... If we go in, the people will rise up and see the honor of Liu Bei and join us. So we could just go there and get that one city for 50 unity. We have 120. I think that's a good idea. How much does this change by? Change by 8 every turn. I think we go in here, get that. And then we move to take this city. Yes, yeah, so we'll go down here. We'll take that city. But then my defenses might be weak. We'll see. I'm saying we go get this a small city. A small city basically for 50 unity. Sounds like a great deal to me. And we'll end it there. That's, that's a good plan. I think that's a good plan. That's just, that's my opinion. Um, but I'm a bit worried about Huang Shao up north. The yellow turbans I don't think will be a massive problem. And Kong Rong has taken over this piece of land here. Okay, so that means we can't go get that now. We want to be friends of Kong Rong. You know, my, my character's thing is about, you know, getting unity... He can confederate people early on. Maybe we can confederate with Kong Rong and Tao Chuan early on in the game. That could be useful. And what's this? Uh, Huang Ji has come to our court. But we don't need people right now. We've got enough people at this point in time. I think we go for this one and then maybe go for that temple or go north. We'll see. Probably go for that, that place over here just because he has two places up here. He's a bit stronger probably. The yellow turban should be quite weak. But let's go for this then. Annex it. Uh, we can't reach it, but if I can, I march to there. Yes, we can. Okay, integrate that, and there we go. We basically just got a free small city, our new capital of Langyi, and the Han Empire. We could just go over here and get more. Then again, I don't want to spend all my unity at this point in time. Maybe that's a good point. Then again, it's, it's basically free real estate. We could we could just go over. No, let's get our unity up, and then we'll take those. So let's go over here, get this place. Then we'll go up to these two. That's what we'll do. We'll go around this way, and we got the unity up. We'll then go over here and take that. That's what we'll do. We now also have quite a bit of money, so I think we should look to do next is to recruit our men. Yeah, we'll, do, we'll recruit men in our next turn. Diplomacy, then. Kong Rong. My good man. A very legend. You know, even people in China don't know much about Free Kingdoms. They'll probably know Kong Rong just because his tales are well known. You can't really get anything from uh, Non Aggression Pact. He likes that. 
How about unify? No, <laughs> minus 42. No one's going to accept that unless we get really powerful or they're extremely weak. Can I get one thing, like one piece of food? No, not even one piece of food. Okay, I, I guess that... We'll just get a non-aggression pack then. Just do that then. Non-aggression pack with Kong Rong. Uh, we can also talk to Wang Lang down here as well. Let's see, what do you have? Non-aggression pact? He would accept a non-aggression pact. We'll do that as well. So we'll make friends with the other warlords around us. Get them on our side. Hopefully we can make peace of them. We'll take out all these people that want chaos first. And we'll see which of them could be good allies and friends in the future. But there we go. I think next turn is what I want then. Yep, perfect. So things have started off well. Uh, I don't see any enemies really coming to attack us right now. We've obviously got a lot of people in China to deal with. Uh, technically, he's an enemy, but he decided to run off because obviously I just took the city. The people decided to just give me the city here because I am Liu Bei. I am blood of the emperor, or so I say. Whether that's true, it's a very, it's a very distant relation, if anything. Uh, Yuan Shu has declared one of the other turbans. Rank and station. Through tireless effort on behalf of the people, we will grow stronger as warriors and as kin. In this way, there is nothing that we cannot do. Lovely. We gain a red thoroughbred. Ooh, that could be good for uh, Zhang Fei. Zhang Fei will be very pleased. And someone can go up a level. Is that Liu Bei? Yeah, Liu Bei has gone up a level. We're going to go for Dignity. Adds, uh, enables Disciplined. Faction Support goes up. Let's go for that. And we'll give you a new horse there. There we go. Red Thoroughbred gives him Instinct. Chance of Evade and Charge bonus. A much better horse for a, a warlord such as Zhang Fei. It's only what he deserves. He deserves the best that we can give him. Um, he's fiery, intimidating, fraternal. And he, he can be troublesome, but he's my brother, you know? Family, technically not really family, but he's family to me, you know? You gotta do what you got. Let's recruit some men then. So, actually, wait. Let's head towards this yellow turban base. Let's head towards that. I want to get there as soon as possible. I not see any armies moving about. We'll go over there once we get more unity. Yeah, so we'll come here as soon as possible. I don't think I need to recruit men right now. We've not really lost any men in any battles. So I don't feel like it's a, a big problem. Right now. This army will not attack us because we have more men. He's not going to go to the city because it is a small city, so it should have some defenses there. I could spend some money to develop the city, actually. That's something I think I will do next, in fact. Because we do have a we have a bit of money just sat there. And what's this? We've got Pu Liang, Mao Ji, Yang Song, and Qu Liang. A couple of names, maybe. I think one or two names there stand out to me, but... We don't have any places that we can really fill in our court. We we, do, we can't afford to have more courtiers right now. But what do I want to do? Do we want to develop one of these? Or develop the iron mine in Dong? That will give me prestige, which is very useful. And obviously we'll give it a garrison to defend against the north, which I think is more important. South of us is Tao Chuan. We have a non-aggression pact, so this city should be okay. And over here, you know, we're going to take those hopefully as well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do up the iron mine just in case. Just in case Wang Shao comes to attack from the north. Let's head. Can I get to this city? Can we even get there? We won't get there in time. We'll have to wait till next turn. Okay, so next turn, we'll go take that city. There's no one defending it. Once we take that city, we'll then look to raise an army completely full. And here we go with the reforms. This is basically a technology tree. We currently have this one, population growth, which is nice. I think, actually, I want this one. Uh, plus one available trade agreement. We, we're surrounded by many friends. You know, Kong Rong is a good man. Hopefully, we can get him to be friends. If I can get another trade agreement with him as well, that could be really useful for our diplomacy. I'm going to be very diplomatic with Liu Bei, you know, because that's the type of man he is. Unless he, he won't go to war unless we have to, really. If we need the land... We might have to, but we've got lots of land to spread into, and we need to take down the tyrant as soon as possible. So, Kong Rong, buddy old pal, you're a smart man. Join me in this trade agreement, and he will. What do I want from him? Uh, currently, zero food again. I guess I could get more food. Food is always useful. Let's go for two food there. 
Done. And we get trade, we get money coming in from that trade agreement, so that's why I didn't ask for money. Getting food could just be useful just in case. Wang Lang, is there anything else we can do with you right now? No. We'll leave it be then. Uh, Huang Shao, do I want peace with him? I don't think we're going to want peace. Uh, we could go for quick deals, actually. Peace right now. The other turbans would accept peace, but that's because I'm about to take down their lands. Proposed unification, that will come probably in the future. And let's go. Ne next turn, we'll take this temple from the yellow turbans. That will free the people. We'll have a nice little piece of land here after that. So that will look nice. We'll have three little places. We'll have a, a temple, an iron mine, and a small city. I'm liking this so far. It's not been too difficult. The, the set and said this is a normal difficulty, apparently, for Liu Bei. But so far, it doesn't seem too bad. Then again, I guess normal isn't too bad. And here we go. Delegate for this battle as well. I don't need to take... I don't need to get involved in this battle. We only lost 100 men once again. Yeah, yeah, not so many men. Occupy. The temple is mine. And look at that. Already looking pretty nice. Occupation done. Let's now recruit. Let's build our army. We don't have many bowmen. We need three bowmen. Um, Zhang Fei is a vanguard, so I want to give him some horses. We have horses here. The medium sword cavalry. Militia for us are cheap as well, so I probably want some militia. Let's go for a couple of spear, because uh, he has a couple of sword ones there. Then on this side, let's get some more bow people in. Let's get, I know this is our special unit, but let's get some militia in, just because right now it's cheap, so we can you know, build up our own little treasury at the start of the game. And uh, what do we get for Guan Yu? We got five bowmen, which I think is fine. We need some more troops. Let's give him some swords, people, yeah? Militia maybe would be useful. Let's just give him some sword militia for now. Cheap, that's fine. Okay, so there we go. Let's go into ownership. I always like ownership. So this is our land right now. Looking good. We'll head up north to Huang Shao and see what the situation is for him. If things are okay, hopefully we can take some land. What's his strength rank? He's kind of even even to us, it says. We can see Cao Cao now. Cao Cao, hmm. Maybe we could become friends of him. We can now see him as well. Um, the Han Empire over here could be easy for us to take with our unity ability. I don't know what is over here, though. So I'm saying we should go north so we can try and protect our northern border and make sure that's safe. Because we now have our full army now. So we can now look to build a second force. So we're probably going to look to bring in some new characters. We might want to bring in a few more characters at some point. How's our prestige right now? Nope, not the court. Prestige. 22 out of 80. Once we get to 80, we'll hit second mark you. We'll have a lot more abilities then. We can do trade agreements, uh, spies administrators. Uh, when can we actually do... There's a point you can actually make allies and stuff, but we can't make an, a coalition or anything like that just yet. Those will come as we go further up the ranks. You get more things you can do as you go up the ranks, which is kind of nice, I feel. It makes it... Ooh. Military access. And he will give me money. I don't really need access into your lands right now, Cao Cao. So I'm going to reject it. And just one payment of 600 doesn't really seem that useful. So we'll leave it for now. We might want to be on as good terms with him right now. Obviously, Liu Bei doesn't know much about Cao Cao at this point in time, so I need to act like we don't know him very well. Obviously, uh, we all know that Cao Cao is not a man maybe to trust. <laughs> we complete the mission. Now they want us to have a new mission, have free holdings. We've already done that. So that's done. Mission succeeded. Your unity grows. And now, with the land to control, Liu Bei looks at domestic affairs. Construct or upgrade a building. Well, we already are doing that, so that should be good then. Construction costs will go down once we do that. Uh, Liu Bei seeks allies in times of strife. Control the following one settlement even by direct ownership or through military allies. So that is Tao. Okay, so that, that's Tao's land. Okay, that's fine. You know. Oh, Tao Chuan's call for aid. Your relationship with Tao Chuan runs deep. Long have you held him in high regard, yet one of his treacherous officers... <gasps> you have a treacherous officer? How could they? 
um, is responsible for the murder of Cao Tsong, and now his son Cao Cao marches to vengeful war upon Tao Chuan. He has asked for your aid against this aggressor. Well, it seems as though Tao Chuan is in a bit of a pickle here. He obviously has good reason here. You know, it wasn't actually him who killed Tao Cao uh, us. Cao Song. Sorry, my pronunciation is terrible. But Cao Cao is using this to attack him. It's just a misunderstanding. But it's not Cao Cao's fault, obviously. His father just died. I could, you know, refuse to help and Cao Cao will like me. Or I could aid him just as what happened in the real story and history. Uh, maybe seen as an act of treachery, I'll declare war on Cao Cao. But my relationship will go up with him. We've been friends with him for longer. Liu Bei would never leave his side. He can see this is just a misunderstanding. I will aid him. Though it brings us into confrontation for the first time with Cao Cao. And probably not the last, I would suspect. There we go. We'll help you, my good old man friend. Ah, oh, Cheng Gong! Ah, oh, I love Cheng Gong. I might, have to, I might have to bring Cheng Gong on. Seeing as we do now have a full army uh, here, I might want to look to bring a second army. We don't have enough money just yet. But I might want to look to... I'm, I'm going to bring him on board. I want Chen Gong. I have to get him. We, need, we don't have a strategist right now. So I think it would actually be good to bring a strategist in. And it's Chen Gong. You know, he's 37 years old right now. Let's bring him in. A thousand gold. I'm going to do it. We need a strategist for the future. I'm going to click it. <laughs> he's level 2 actually as well. Um, but Pu Liang is free. But we've already got a sentinel waiting to be used. So... We'll bring in Chen Gong. We're going to need more people with us anyway in the future. I want to have Chen Gong in my faction. Here we go. That's the cool thing. If you do know a lot of the characters from the story and stuff, you get that added bonus. But if you don't know, it's not a big deal. They, you know, they might do things as you progress through the story. Um, but with all this war going on right now, I'm a little bit worried. We got Unity 100, so we could get these two Han Empire places. But Cao Cao is over here. He is connected to my lands. So the question is, do I go north to deal with Huang Shao, or do I go and deal with Cao Cao? I'm not sure. I feel like we should go defend the north first. I feel like Cao Cao is at war with me and Tao Xuan. Uh, he might go after him first. So I'm actually probably going to go up this way. I guess I could just raise a second army here. Yeah, like, that's what I'm... Okay, I'm going to raise a second army while I march north. Let's do it. We can only get to there, so I'm actually going. No, but if I march though, my men won't won't replenish. So let's keep let's keep it like that. We'll let our men replenish for now. We're not in a hurry, and because there could be an attack from the south, I will raise an army. Ooh, Jiang Gong. We can't. Oh, oh yes, I can only have one army at the moment. Ooh, army is one out of one. Yep. Okay. Apparently, I can't do anything about it just yet. We're gonna have to go up a rank first before I can do that. Oh dear, that, that's a bit problematic, but it's fine. We'll go up in ranks in time, and hopefully, yeah, armies provided will be two once we go up. But that does mean I've got to be careful right now that I don't get attacked from the south, so... Yeah, but we need to take... Huang Shao could attack us from the north at any time, so... I feel it's best for us to go after him. Um, let's have a look at quick deals. Peace. Cao Cao actually might make... I can't make peace with him straight away. I need to make sure Tao Chuan is safe. We've got to wait until... They've made peace. Uh, Liu Dei is actually someone we can now negotiate with. He should be over here, if I remember correctly. Now, I actually can't see him on the map, but I do know he's around here. Ooh, receive marriage. Now, I am not married, I don't think. Yeah, currently Liu Bei starts off not married, so I'm going to need to get married to have kids, because we're 30 years old. We're not in a rush. But I don't have a faction error right now. So we maybe, yeah, we'll want to look for a marriage. So actually, marrying him, he's, he's family. You know, technically probably a distant relation, but still. Let's have a quick look. Who does he have? Liu Hu Min. She's 21 years old. This might be kind of, this might be actually kind of good. She'd come join our court as well, so we have enough people for a second army. But he really doesn't want that right now. So I'll cancel that. And we'll see maybe in the future. Let's see if we can get a non-aggression pact. He wouldn't do it just yet. Okay, we'll leave him for now then. But that's interesting. We could definitely get a marriage. 
a marriage with someone else that we really want to be married with, like Kong Rong would be kind of cool. Uh, military access and he'll pay us. Um, Kong Rong, do we really need military access with you right now? Uh, I guess we're friendly with him right now, so you want to be friends. He would like it. He would like us more as well. Getting to be friendly with us would be nice. Uh, I'll reject for now. I'm going to reject early on. We still don't know him that well. Letting him come through our lands right now. There's all this turmoil. It's not great. I did the same with Cao Cao. We'll do the same with Kong Rong. You know, we think he's a good man, but we'll see how things turn out. Living in harmony, the bonds of brother and sisterhood are all that some need to push them on towards victory. The link of kinship between these two warriors does just that. Tying them together like the roots of a mighty tree. May this bond hold them together through all adversary. Zhang Fei and Guan Yu relationship has deepened. Of course it has. They're my brothers after all. We'll keep an eye. I like to click on that to keep an eye on who pops up because you never know when a legendary guy or someone you know pops up. So it's always good to keep an eye on that. Let's move forward once again. Okay, now we can see the city right now. Uh, the small city of Dong is being protected by Pei Yuan Shao. He doesn't have any soldiers himself. He's only six right now. But the city also doesn't have, a, ooh, doesn't have a big defense either. This could be the perfect time to attack. I feel we have to attack. Yeah, this is a good opportunity for us to go in there and take the city. But we'll have to wait till next turn. Okay, so next turn, we'll go and attack them there. That would be a good opportunity to take that. If we can get that, then we can head up here, take this one, and then come back around and see what's going on with Cao Cao. If Cao Cao's not coming, we can go get these two Han Empire places, because our unity is looking pretty good right now. Not too bad. I like to have it on this screen right here. We are strategists. Actually, our strategists could be given a few things, can't they? Now... I could give him the cunning guy, but for now, the cunning guy with Liu Bei is good because he gives him the trade influence. So I'll leave him there for now. Yeah, we'll leave it as it is. Yeah, I've got nothing else I can give. Okay, yeah, we'll give it to the generals actually out and fight, and they could use those bonuses for now. But let's see what happens here. We never know, maybe Huang Shao, the yellow turbans. Oh, no, his men have ran away. I was just, I was just about to say maybe he'll get reinforcements, but no. Tao Chuan wants Mr. Access. Now, I will give it to him because we are fighting a war together. So, you know, we're obviously very close right now. And he gives me a bit of money. I accept. You're a good man, Tao Chuan. Don't worry. Together, we will bring the Han Empire back to its glory. We'll save it together. We'll be good friends. Uh, with land to control, yep, yeah, we improved a building, so we finished that one. From each according to their ability. My lord, the generals under your command are talented individuals, each with an array of skills. They can put to use in improving your realm. Send a character on an assignment. I completely forgot we have the assignments, yes. And Diao Chan, the minister Wang Yun, fearing the tyranny of Dong Zhuo, sends his adopted daughter to the capital. His plan is to have her destroy the relationship between Dong Zhuo and his adopted son, Liu Bei. Uh, <laughs> Liu Bu, not Liu Bei. No, that's... He's not trying to destroy me. Lu Bu. Uh, I can never pronounce Lu Bu. I know that's not how you actually pronounce it. I've been told many times, but it's the only way that I can pronounce it. Uh, let's send someone to the capital then on assignment. What can we do? Income from commerce, silk and spice. Satisfaction, but uses unity. I don't want to spend unity right now. Income from industry or construction costs. Industry and commerce and silk. What do we get from this? From commerce. Uh, 25 income from peasantry. Okay, so right now, what else are we getting? Income from commerce. Income from all sources. Income from commerce. So that's actually got quite a lot of commerce right now. So we could send Cheng Gong to deal with that. And what about our other city? Click off that. What are you giving us money-wise? Income from a 300 from industry, but the others also have bonuses added on to that. So that might be best to send him just over there. This one, does this give any money? The temple? Oh, no, we've got to change the temple. The Grand Temple City of... Conf okay, so we've actually got to change that. So let's go do that. We'll, check, we'll convert this temple. It's a yellow turban building. We can't use those buildings, apparently. Okay. And I might send him to this one, actually. No, I can't send him on assignment here. Okay, we'll send him assignment here. Chen Gong, you go here. 
So Chen Gong has gone to a summit. So it's very useful for people in your court. You can send them off to do things. And you've got administrators and his positions and stuff. There's many things you can send them to do, which is kind of nice. But now the city is undefended. He actually moved his men away. I thought you might have men to reinforce it, but actually, he moved his men away. Pariahic victory. Okay, we can't attack just yet. We're going to have to wait a turn. Continue siege. So he could bring more men in to come and defend, but for now, he's moved his men back. He's got more land up here. He's actually got quite a bit of land to start with. He could be a troublemaker, but we can get this city. That's two small cities for us. We've then got the whole Dong to ourselves, So that'll be good. We can get all this land and these two. We'll be sitting pretty, actually. Very nice. Okay, ownership. I like the ownership. I hate it always starts with attitude, but I like ownership. So that's how we can't have peace just yet. Do you have any marriages? I need someone who can give me a good marriage. Someone I want to be married with. Someone that could give us a good place. Unify now, okay. Uh, Huang Shao? I need to take at least those two cities. If we can have our northern border safe. He's got land across the river, but I'll, I might let him keep that if it means we can then concentrate on Cao Cao and the other enemies. We'll see. Non-aggression pact? He would now accept it. Let's do it. I know he's over here. So we'll we'll propose that with him. We don't want to fight. We don't need to be fighting each other. We've got other fish to fry. You have a marriage, maybe. He might maybe a girl has just come to age in his court. You never know. Ooh, only minus 18. That's actually not that bad. He says never though right now, but it's not that bad. Uh, Wang Yang. Nope. Military access, unify. Okay. Nothing in particular there. Dong Zhuo might make peace. No, we could never we could never make peace with the tyrant. Not while he still has the boy emperor, the Han true leader. We cannot allow that tyrant to have peace. Oh, and Huang Xiao himself has decided to go down the river, but he's gone past. But we now know he's got an army up here and an army down here. That's kind of dangerous. Wang Lang wants military access. Now we don't know him completely, so for now, once we get a bit more stable, I will allow it. I will, but right now, we're, we're just being friendly with who we can. Zhang Yang declared one of the yellow turbans. Everyone's at one of the yellow turbans, I mean. Liu Bei seeks to make himself known, become a second marquee. We get more unity and more food. And so Food-wise, we're at six, so we're perfectly fine for food. <gasps> what? Ma Tank? What? Ma Teng is... Wait, 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 wait. How is Ma Teng here? Ma Teng is the leader of his own faction. What happened to your fa... Have you already died? I'm recruiting him. <laughs> you can't... Ma Teng, you know, he tried... He was a, a good man for the Han. Liu Bei has heard about him, how he, he probably went to fight... You know what happened here? You know what happened? He heard about Dong Zhuo being in the west at Chang'an, now what we call Xi, uh, Xi'an, where the, the Terracotta army is, but he probably heard that he'd gone west, and he went to try and save the emperor, but in the war, he got defeated by Dong Zhuo and his men, and he was left without an army, possibly, and now he seeks Liu Bei, the man that he's heard is just a true support of the Han, and a man of the people, so he's come to join me in my cause. What happened to your son, though? Where is Ma Chao? I, I have to bring him. I have to recruit. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here he comes. Here is Ma Teng. He's a, a vanguard. I've got too many men now. Um, but money-wise, we're okay. I can't believe it. I have to find out what happened, though. Devious, we need a second army as soon as possible. We need to get a second army as soon as possible. Because I can't believe we just got Ma Teng. He will be in charge of our second army. Him, Cheng Gong... And Jiang Yong, that should be a good second army, if you ask me. Let's have a quick look. I can't see what happened to him. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. I've never seen someone, a leader of faction, released that early. Um, but I love it. I do love that indeed. Another trade agreement would be kind of good to give relations with other people. I feel like right now, trade influence, recruitment costs... Construction, income from the peasantry, 
Admi oh, administrators. Would I get it right now then? If that's true, that would be kind of nice. Do I get that right now? Because I have quite a few people under my control right now that have nothing to do. So I'm going to do this. Let's get that going because I've got a few people who have nothing to do underneath me. Yes, we now have an administrator. Ma, Ma Teng, of course you're going to be administrator. Uh, Jiang Yong, you've been with me for a while, but he's a good man. And what's his satisfaction at? 92. Ooh, 55. Okay, ma actually, you know what? Jiang Yang, you could be administrator. Let's do that. That'll make him, hopefully... You know, let's give him something to do. We will make him in charge of Leng Yi of the city. There you go. You, he was with us from the beginning. Let's give him something to do. He was with us from the beginning. We'll give him to do... Ma Teng is a soldier. He's going to lead our armies, our second army, once that's done. Jiang Yong, though, can hang out in that city and protect it. Ooh, things are going very nice right now. I'm like, I'm liking it. It's, in, it's definitely different than what I expected. I just want to know what happened to Ma Chao. Can I find out from him? I actually might be able to. Um, wait, wait. I need to go on this. Here we go. Relationships. Wait, he's an acquaintance to Dong Zhuo? What is... What is this? Where's your son? Where is his son? He doesn't get on with our uh, Huang Fu song. Um, but yeah, what did you bring with you then? You brought your family spear. That's nice. You brought a cryptographer plus cunning. Cover for spies. You don't necessarily need that. The nine chapters of the mathematical art. That seems pretty good. Okay, he's brought a few few interesting little things with him. But let's see how this battle looks now. Pariahic victory. 2,000 men versus 1,100. I mean, we should really be... Maybe I should wait until this is done. But I probably want to get this done as soon as possible. Maybe I should fight it. They have no generals lead them. This shouldn't be too difficult a battle, really. And if we can lose without losing any men, or hardly any men, it says casualties are medium. Let's start the battle. I think we could lose... Then again, it is a city for attacking. Um, try to have a look. Let's just delegate. There's, there's hardly any, you know, hardly any soldiers defending it. We lost 800 men. It's quite a lot of men, but none of our units were destroyed, so I'm fine with that. Occupy. Yeah, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been a fun battle to watch. I feel like there'd be way too many people just defending. We'd just be taking down the walls and stuff. Commandery secured. We've taken the whole of Dong now. So that's looking pretty nice. We can see uh, Liu Dei there. We see Yuan Shao as well. Looking pretty good. Who has this then? The Han Empire has this. So Huang Shao only has this and this. This is capital right now. We see Pei Yuan Shao is over there. So I might want to go and try and take care of him. Then we go to uh, Tai Shan, this little town over here. If we can get that, this whole little area down here south of the river is basically under my control. We just got to go over here and take these Han Empire places. I'm liking, I'm liking. Yeah, feels pretty good. Okay, diplomacy then. Do we have any new people we can speak to? Uh, you want the Shao, of course. He could still be useful. He was leading the coalition. It may have fallen apart, but he could still be useful. He still wanted the help of the Han, um, though now he's not willing to help me out here. He doesn't want a non-aggression pact. Maybe we can't trust him. Maybe he's not a man to be trusted Ooh, after all. Trade territory. No marriage is there right now. Maybe the only marriage is from you. Maybe this is the best chance for a marriage. It might actually be our best opportunity to get a marriage from someone. If we want a marriage now and have kids early on, he might be our best option. I would, I would like a marriage maybe with someone else, but for now that might be the best choice. 22 has actually gone down. Okay, Wang Lang, what would you like? But at the moment, he won't give me the marriage yet. We'd probably have to pay for the marriage, so for now, I'm not going to get it yet. Uh, we don't have that much money coming in. 600 gold is not a lot, so I don't want to go too crazy. Our unity is looking okay. And someone can go up a rank. Okay, Liu Bei has gone up a back. Uh, rank. Flexibility, get resolve. Redeployment cost. Replenishment rate goes up. That could be good. Not that one. I don't feel like that's really much of a... Liu, uh, Liu Bei thing. Authority available assignments. Ooh, that could be good. We've got too many people right now. Yeah. Nobility. 
sounds like the one to go for for him. And now we could probably send someone on assignment to Dong. So let's send Ma Teng while he has nothing else to do. Satisfaction, replenishment. Let's go for replenishments. Yeah. Okay, Ma Teng, you got something to do. Everyone now has something to do. There we go. Everyone has something to do. We've got a great extra general in Ma Teng. We've got Cheng Gong, a good strategist. I'm pretty happy with this beginning right now. Yeah. I think this is a... Considering all beginnings, this isn't too bad. We've got to see the, what that yellow turban army does. Oh. Non-aggression platform Yuan Shao. He wants food from me. He wants also a devious attendant. No. We don't need to be friends right now. Right now we're fighting the same enemies and stuff. It's not too necessary that we actually need a non-aggression pact. I think we'll be fine as it is. I don't think it's a big deal. So we'll see. Maybe hopefully we can actually get a non-aggression pact soon. And that will be fine. Uh, yellow, faction destroyed Yellow Turban Rebellion has been completely destroyed. Excellent. And we've got... So, oh, Miju has joined us. So Yang Song. A couple of... I think I recognize... I'm not sure about Yang Song. I definitely recognize me. Um, but the other... I didn't see what we just gained there. I need to go check that. What did we just gain? We gained something. Now, these two don't... This one does give cost for spies. We don't have any spies right now. Do we get a new horse? No. I'm not sure we just got that. I think it was just one of these. Probably another mer Yeah, we got another merchant. That was it. Okay. How about we give you... No, we didn't get the merchant. Cut an authority. Authority. Marteng has that one. A cunning, though. I feel like you should have one of the other ones. You don't necessarily need cunning, Marteng. Uh, we'll leave it for now. It's not a big deal. We'll leave it for now. We can now see all the way across over here to Dong Zhuo. Okay. Now, the army down here is still a slight problem. Can I actually reach them? We cannot reach... I may need to chase him down and destroy him for now. Tai Shan, though, is just over there. How is the actual... Um, place here when it comes to soldiers. They're still recouping. They're still getting their men back. Okay, we need to kill this guy. We need to get rid of him. If, as long as he's around here, our city's not safe. If we can get rid of him, our city's safe, and we'll be fine. So we'll come chasing after him for now. Other than that, I don't think there's anything particular I need to be doing. Like I said, time go again. South Sao is still a threat down south, though. We still need to be wary of him. What are they do? Oh, he's gone across the river. Okay, now he's gone across the river. You know what? Leave him be. Uh, Liu Dei has defeated that Hena Empire army. So that's nice. He's got an army down here. Okay, now he's gone across the river. I'm going to leave him. Because I, I just want to defeat him under this river. You want Shao, the Han Empire, or someone will probably defeat them. So I could probably leave them be for now. Ambushes, reports. We got a brown thoroughbred. That increases resolve. That will be good. For Guan Yu. Because he is a champion, so that's really nice for him. Perfect. Much better horse for our man Guan Yu. And now let's go over here. Now I don't know how many men, if there are any men defending this. We did see it an army up here of his own leader. And he's got an army down here, so... I don't feel that risky here. We need to do an upgrade somewhere. Spend a bit of money. We'll upgrade Dong for now. It's kind of on the border of the north, so I want to make sure it's protected. So, food production. We can't afford that. This needs to be changed. So, we'll do that for now. And there we go, okay. Oh, fraternal versus loyal. You'll discuss with a close friend the nature of loyalty, whether it is the right to be loyal to your lord or to your brothers. Does fraternity overrule hierarchy or is the word of better men all that matters? Well, I I, I was going to say this anyway. Ma Teng disagrees, but we have to, we have to agree with Zhang Fei. I'm sorry, Ma Teng. I'm sorry. You're a good man, but we're just going to have to disagree on this one thing. Uh, Fei Lan is now in charge of that army there. They're across the river. We should be fine. 
So we'll continue on our march to Taishan. Oh, and he's appeared up here to go and try and defend that town. Obviously wants to kind of try and come and confront us, diplomacy-wise. Let's do some quick deals here. We could definitely make peace of him, but I want that land. I mean, if he gives me that piece of land, I would be willing to negotiate. Plus 10. We can't trade, though. That's a shame that I can't trade for the land that I want. Okay, fine then. We won't be able to do that. Okay. Nothing else we can do. But we're going to end this part here, guys. I know it's not been the most exciting of first parts, but... You know, when it comes to actually how we're doing, I think we're doing quite nice. We've got a nice power base here. Um, Huang Shao should lose the city of Taishan next turn. And uh, relationship-wise, we've got a couple of good people. Kong Rong up north, uh, Tao Chuan down here. Wang Lang and Lu Dei maybe can be friends. Maybe Yuan Shao could be useful in protecting our northern borders, possibly. Once you have the city, I'll go get these two as well. Basically, the free real estate that we can get from our unity, which will be nice. It would be good to get that prestige as well. We'll have to wait and see. It might be worth just getting those cities first, though, because then at least this border will be safe. Then we can go deal with Cao Cao. But I can't believe we got Ma Teng to join us. We just need to know what happened to his son. What happened to your son? Is he dead? Maybe he's dead. Uh, do, if counties died, do they no longer appear here? Is I actually don't know. I never checked that out. But until next time, guys, I've been uh, NG Paradox. This has been Lu... Bay and his journey. The first journey, but hopefully you'll follow us for the rest of it. I'll see you soon. Have a good one. Good day, good morning, good night, and a good tomorrow, of course. For the Emperor!